decided to take a walk and think things over. It was only 10 o'clock in the morning, but already it was 95 degrees and 100% humidity. Houston has a climate similar to Calcutta, India. In fact, when the British had a consulate here before the 60s when everything became air conditioned, their employees were given hardship compensation. Used to be, you could drive around with a cold beer between your legs on a hot summer day. Used to be, you could do a lot of things here. Houston and Texas used to be a free and independent place. Nowadays, we've become as highly regulated and highly taxed as Western Germany. We've become like all the rest. Houston was built on a swamp and there isn't a hill for 50 miles. But the early real estate developers sent posters back east with a somewhat idealized view of Houston. Things here are cold, corporate, and impersonal.
A sociology teacher I had in college once said that if you go to a high place and look down, you can see the design of society and therefore understand it better. Maybe so, but today it looks like a lot of confusion to me. Only in the clouds did I see any sense, and that was the sense of a small boy lying on his back in the grass, seeing shapes out of objects in a simpler time. Maybe I should move to Belize. My friend Tom is always going on about how great it is. Beautiful place, cheap to live. Everyone speaks English because it used to be a British colony. Take it easy, think things over. Could be worse. Could be AIDS. Yeah, all right. Who well, knows what it is? Could be anything. Maybe it's the city. Maybe it's the biorhythms. Who knows? It's a good sign. Maybe it's a sign you should be doing something else. Look, I tell you what, this weekend we'll go to the beach house. I'll buy some beer, smoke a little, catch some rays. You can chill out. You can think things over, you know? It'll be good for you. What do you think? Good? I can do it. Okay, well, I mean, that's good. <laughs> I borrowed a car from a lawyer friend of mine. He had several. Lawyers always seem to do well, no matter what happens. I wanted his air-conditioned Cadillac. Only masochists drive convertibles in Texas in the summer. But I was in no position to argue. Hey, Nick. Be cool. Let Col. Let Col is French for the school. And that's a perfect name for this restaurant. It's open to the public, but it's staffed by advanced students from the French Culinary Institute. <laughs> Political and economic freedom in Eastern Europe is it an empty promise or a calculated fraud? I stopped off at my favorite ice house, a sort of open-air neighborhood bar, unique to Houston. People came here to buy ice back in the old days. Now they come for beer and company. About a year ago, I stopped by the road on the edge of town and bought some vegetables and shrimp from a man who was selling them out of the back of a pickup truck. I got to talking to the old boy, and it turned out he was making about 75 bucks a day doing this. That wasn't bad considering he had little overhead, was outside most of the day, met people, and really didn't have to work that hard. It also turned out that he was an architect. He'd been laid off about a year before. After months of looking for work, he gave up and started doing this to keep from going crazy.
the sun fell over rush hour traffic. People were going home from work. It dawned on me that I had no job to come home from. After five years, I was being let go. Why me, I wondered. Why not someone else? But then other folks were being let go as well. Now it was my turn. The slump in oil prices and production was forcing them to cut down on operations, they said. I could probably last here for two or three months, living on my credit cards. Toward the end, the same thing might happen to me that happened to my friend Paul. He took a woman he was trying to impress to an expensive restaurant. After dinner, he gave the waiter his overheated American Express card. After a while, the waiter came back with a pair of scissors and snapped his card right in half, right in front of him and his astonished date who ended up paying. I hope that no one sees me waiting out in the streets because here in Houston, nobody walks or rides the bus. Nobody rides the bus, that is, but the losers. I work for an oil company, but I'm no JR. In fact, there really aren't any JRs left. They died out a long time ago.